Hi everybody, Gary Heydrich here for this week's Fishing Chums Fishing Report. How you doing guys? Hope you did good over the past few days. Over the past weekend, fishing's picking up a little bit around, you know. We got some warm weather that's been here the last two or three days. going to be warm for the upcoming weekend. That might change something somewhat. But the fish are moving more than they have been the last couple of weeks. So, uh, quick report here today. Uh, get up there in the morning, get out on Table Rock or Bull Shoals and uh, do that topwater fishing. Topwater fishing is fairly reliable the first couple hours of the day. Pop ours, junior spooks. I wouldn't use the big spooks. Try that junior spook. Uh, whopper ploppers. Whatever your favorite topwater bait you're comfortable with, get out there and I think you can catch a few fish topwater wise. You know if we have some wind, now we haven't had any wind the last couple of days, but if you have some wind, like I've been talking the last few uh, weeks here, spinnerbait fishing on Table Rock has really picked up. And even so, so much better the last week or so. But you have to have wind. So if you're out this weekend, throw that spinnerbait, if you got the wind, and slow roll it, medium roll around some of the brush off the bank, I think you can catch some fish doing this. Still out on the main lake, the long gravel points are paying off with your drop shots. Try your drop shots, 25, 30 feet of water. Sometimes the fish aren't up on the bottom, so kind of slow roll your bait back up, kind of work your depth. I think you can catch some fish doing this. And uh, we've had some reports of uh, some jig fishing around some of the docks. And up in the James River, by the way, square bill crankbaits have been working, and at times buzz baits. So you may want to look this over. Speaking of the James River up around Cape Fair, had some French crappie fishing, friends crappie fishing the other day, and uh, they got right over some brush piles in about 18 feet of water. And they found the brush piles, got down there with a jig, like a 16th ounce jig. Seems like the chartreuse with a pink or red head was the best. They picked up several nice crappie. So try crappie fishing and around some of the docks down there as well. Walleye, we're still getting reports. I talked to my old buddy uh, Mountain Dew. Uh, he uh, been catching some fish. He had a nice 22 incher. You can take a look at it here out on Table Rock by just fishing the points, trolling the points. And uh, Barry Jenkins, he's a good fisherman, good buddy of mine. Keep catching those walleye down on, on Table Rock. We love that. Okay, over at Bull Shoals, I mentioned it right quick. Top water in the early morning hours, your favorite top water baits. In the mid lake, well, I don't know if it's a mid lake, but up in that Lead Hill area, out by the marina on some of those flats, we're catching walleye in 20, 25 feet of water. They're using the jig combination, a jig harness, kind of using a trolling motor. Uh, bouncing around and they've been also trolling some uh, some deep diving bait something to get down around 15 to 18 feet of water and they've been picking up some bass on the uh, drop shots out at uh, bull shoals and square bill crankbaits some spinner bait fishing and so uh, that mid lake area where you can pick yourself up a few walleye boy I tell you what that sounds fun not much report on the crappie over at Bull Shoals. Lake Tanicomo, quick report, they've been catching good trout, a lot of limits can be caught out there. Same old story, uh, Cooper Creek to Monkey Island, down around the landing area is good, and even, uh, I'm telling you, they, they just that big bend uh, back uh, towards Rockaway Beach and that Rockaway Beach area out, they've been picking up some fish. Good baits, get yourself a float, and uh, just a little jig, like a 64th uh, ounce jig, uh, it seems like your green, uh, your your black with a little bit of orange in it, uh, brown has been good. Uh, even a, if you have to go to a 180th ounce, that will work. But put a float up above it. Uh, put a float up above that little tiny jig about four to six feet of water. Pits that out, especially if they're not running water. And boy, this can pick up fish. And like a 32nd ounce jig has been picking up some fish as well when they're not running water. Pitch it out on light line, let it fall, let it work back. Cleo spoons have been working, and Rapala's. So a tanny combo looks good for the upcoming weekend. Some nice fish, a lot of fish being caught out there. Okay, a quick report on Truman. Had a buddy fishing out there the other day. They're catching a lot of fish on Truman, a lot of crappie, but they're catching some good ones as well. And it seems like anywhere from the brush piles and 15 to 18 feet of water, 
and around uh, some of the docks they've been picking up some crappie. But I tell you what, the bluffs, don't overlook the bluffs out at Truman Lake this upcoming weekend. And speaking of the docks, I think I was talking about, should have been talking about over at Lake of the Ozarks, had good reports on Lake of the Ozarks around the docks for crappie this weekend. Check that out. Okay, we have that big tackle getaway. We're going to get out of here today with this. If you missed last week's show, go to the September 15th show last week, and we are explaining how you can get in on the big lure giveaway. We're giving away $50 worth of lures, $50 worth of lures, and it's got all kinds of stuff, top water baits, spinner baits, all kinds of stuff. And it's really easy to get involved in this. Just go to last week's show, and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. We want you to win that $50 giveaway. Okay, um, if you're not a subscriber, we want you to push that subscription button and tell your friends about us. And uh, we like to talk about all types of fishing here on The Big Little Show. And uh, be sure to share and like. And if you have any photos or any questions, just uh, give us an email. Email us at fishingchums at gmail.com. Get out and get bit this weekend. God bless you all. Happy outdoors.